Well, hello guys. Uh, this is going to be my test for one of the K0 Ultra. What I'm going to try to do is install just KS5L and then I'm going to install the factory KS5L and factory KS5M from where on this miner just to make sure one more time that is the same firmware. Uh, because it's the same name, you know, so it just KS updates. So I'm pretty sure it works for all the miners because I tried already installing on KS5L board uh, KS5M and KS0 uh, Ultra firmware, so it works. Just want to see if we can do uh, on this Ultra. All right, so we have a uh, Ultra running. Uh, let's make sure I don't have the. Uh, yeah, on this Ultra, I need to make sure we're not reading. Okay, so I'm going to stop the Ice River monitor tool. And I'm going to click update. So hopefully it will take, so I'm not doing any overclocks here. As you notice, I am on the factory firmware, which is updated uh, K0 Ultra firmware. Now, if we can update with K0 uh, KS5L and then I'll try KS5M it will be just a proof of this is uh, exactly same firmware it just recognized device the firmware itself the board and everything okay so let's see if we can uh, restart this miner and we'll check it out in a little bit make sure we can go back online here and hopefully not break this miner All right, so looks like we are back online, only 12 seconds, but it did restart uh, the K0 Ultra. This uh, IP address, you could see 64, same address that we have on the miner. So it will take probably, uh, I just wanna see the clocks here that it's gonna take 355 clocks. Now that K0, uh, KS5L actually uh, starting at 6. 50 right uh, or 665 for the older version but I think it recognized the hash ports or hash chips automatically how many chips there and it's apply clocks accordingly uh, if it's not overclocked firmware so that's the uh, a factory original firmware from ice river that I own so if we go here uh, and just go down to tutorials here by the way, you can download here a batch processing tool. Some people don't know what it is, but that's the tool which you can also use. This I'm going to show you how it looks. It's just like this, and then you can scan your uh, miners' IP addresses through your uh, network, and then you can just apply uh, to actual firmware upgrade right from this batch tool if your web GUI doesn't work. So that's one of the options here. And then uh, firmware, it then loads are all the way here. So those last, oh, it's in, of course, Chinese. Okay. So we have Ultra, KS5L, and KS5M. Looks like all three of these guys are the same. Well, let's confirm this. Once we get this updated clocks here, uh, and hopefully, uh, let's see where we at with that uh, bum, 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 bum. Need to go back to this miner over here. So let's see if we have at least one accepted share. Well, nothing yet. Okay, so it's haven't started yet. So hopefully, obviously it's not bricked because we can see it on the web GUI, but will it actually take that uh, firmware? I don't know. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, it's still kind of starting up, heating up, I guess. So it may take a little while. So let's I'll come back after it start uh, showing the clocks here, and uh, we'll see. We oh here you go, three fifty five. So it's correctly recognize uh, the clocks for the K zero Ultra, and it's also showing K zero Ultra Minor here. So even though I installed KS three L version. So, I believe KS3M uh, firmware uh, from the website, it will be just exactly the same uh, version. If we download, unzip, and install, it will be exactly the same uh, thing. So, 
I can just open it and just show you guys just to make sure you see it. It's KS3M and I'm gonna extract files and click OK. So I'm gonna create it's gonna be a new folder just under download today. So just so you know it's KS3M. Uh, I downloaded from uh, iceriver.io website but it is the same firmware all right so let's see if we have accepted shares first yeah we do have one accepted share so it will start pretty soon so before we go there I'll just do KS3M just to make sure we are on the same page here so let's go to downloads this is the latest that I just download right now today all right and this is the file for KS3M and we put in this on Ice River KS0 Ultra. So and that's gonna prove that this is just a one file for all three miners. I'm not sure why they even separated this, just make it confuse it more confusing because the same exact file name when you download and it makes kind of confusing when you put separate folders and make you worry not to put the wrong, you know, go into the wrong folder to break your device. So there is Basically, you don't need to stress about it. You can just have one file pretty much. I mean, unless you only have one miner uh, like Ultra or only KS5L, then you just download your version just to make sure you don't create a craziness. But I think it's pretty much uh, safe because I've been trying to go different routes about it. Okay, and... Uh, did I turn the Ice River Monitor tool? Probably not, no. Yeah, so my bad. It may not gonna install that uh, KS3M because the Ice River monitor, monitor tool was on this time. So you have to make sure you shut it down uh, before uh, you do it. Yeah, so say like it's the um, kind of did it in the middle. So. My guess is it will restart, but it will not take uh, probably firmware. So I'm going to do it one more time after it restarts. So just to make sure you could see the KS3M is the same for uh, Ultra and KS5L. All right, so we're back online and I have to stop uh, Ice River Monitor tool because I'm not sure if I updated this firmware. And let's go and use that uh, downloaded file right there. So from downloads. That's the one I just downloaded from my Thriver website, KS3M firmware going to KS0 Ultra in the real time. So we'll get that uh, message updated and my monitor tool is off. So hopefully everything processed correctly and then we'll get uh, to the hashing and I'll update in about 30 minutes after that to make sure we are getting the uh, hash uh, back to normal for this case here ultra uh, takes kind of longer uh, okay operation succeeded restart the machine okay all right yeah so no problem all right i'll be uh, back in about 30 minutes once we get back online mining so i did not break with any of those three firmware uh, for K0 Ultra and by the way this is the one that I actually mined before uh, on the older version with the T-Swift and I did properly revert the file and then I updated to factory newer fir firmware so it's all working back to normal so there is no issues with the miner uh, it will take probably um, yeah, a few minutes to go back online and then I'll update uh in about probably 30 40 minutes when once we get the full hash rate on this miner right so all right guys uh give me a few minutes just want to make sure it goes back online here so you could see real life how it's uh when it's connected with the ks3m firmware yeah it takes sometimes a few minutes before all right here we go nine seconds online and they will get online probably pretty soon here so i'll update you stay tuned in a little bit all right so i 
I let it run a little bit longer, so it's 5 hours 13 minutes. Uh, perfectly fine, like a regular stack firmware. It's showing uh, Ultra, even though I installed KS 5M, not 3, the 3M three not gonna work here, but KS 5M and KS 5L and Ultra. That's basically a proof of uh, pretty much same firmware. Uh, it just automatically gets uh, detected the hardware, I guess, and it's just recognize whatever it is. Because if I install um, the board, the KS 5L board into the KS 5M minor, it will show KS 5M here. So it's kind of automatically shows that um, whatever you mining on. So. I guess that's how this new firmware works. Anyways, um, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you like it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. And we'll see you on the next one.